Hey YouTube. Good evening. It's Patrice Sunflower here from Patrice Sunflower Channel. Uh, welcome if you're new here. Uh, tonight I'm going to be tasting and sampling the instant noodles here, Fobo rice noodles with artificial beef flavor, but I'm actually going to be adding some beef, uh, some ground beef that's fresh just into the uh, hot water once it's boiled uh, for a gourmet supper. So these noodles look really good and I've never actually tried them before. So this is going to be my first time trying this Fobo rice noodles with artificial beef flavor, as I just mentioned. Uh, there's a picture of what it looks like, I guess, if you make it at home or get it at the restaurant. Uh, in my case, I'm having it at home here. And this is a product of Thailand. Oh, it says no fork. And you know what? I actually have some chopsticks today. Um... I put them um, I'm going to go ahead and open it and show you guys what it looks like on the inside let's see what do we have in here Ooh, okay so we have a seasoning oil and a seasoning powder and the noodles uh, these are not wrapped it seems that some of the noodles come wrapped but this one isn't so I'm going to be back momentarily with the boiling water and add all these little goodies in. So I've just added the seasoning oil and the seasoning powder and I'm going to go ahead and add in the boiling water. Smells really good already. Let's try three minutes. And we'll be right back. I found the chopsticks, so I'm going to be using these today. So guys, I forgot to mention, I'm going to add in some of the raw beef now. And I'm going to let it cook in the hot bath of this water here for the next um, I think I'll probably put it five minutes so just for food safety uh, the meat needs to come to an internal temperature of 71 degrees Celsius or 159 degrees uh, Fahrenheit or 160 so I'm just ensuring that the beef is fully cooked and I'm gonna go check it now I know, I remember when I was visiting in Buffalo, <laughs> this is a short story, well, hopefully not too long. I remember being asked when I wanted to have a burger, how I wanted it. And I said, well, well done. Well, in the States, you have a choice of having your burgers done. I think rare, medium rare, or well done. But in Canada, we follow um, slightly different guidelines. So ground beef has to be cooked uh, fully until it's no longer pink. And that internal temperature just ensures your safety. So uh, I know in the States they do it a little bit different. And that's okay. That's a different country. Um, but here, for our purposes, I like to follow what's safe. Um, obviously, with steak, you have, um, you know, you can have it medium rare or rare. It's different. But with ground beef, just for safety. Anyway, there it is. <laughs> it looks so good. I have my chopsticks today haven't used these for a little while so I'm gonna use them and I'm just gonna move the beef around a little <laughs> just to um, make sure it's bathed in that nice hot water it's looking amazing and smelling so good too okay so I'm gonna get my spoon and I'll be right back alrighty so I'm gonna start to taste the broth the broth looks really good nice and beefy wow it's really nice really good flavor it tastes a little bit like pho soup in fact i think it says it is pho but this is thai pho so it's a little different really tasty i think i'm going to add a little bit of oops a little bit of um lemon in i have some lemon here so add some of that hopefully help with the flavor a little and I think a pinch of the Himalayan pink salt Put in. okay 
I didn't put any ice cubes in this one, so. And now I'm going to taste the beef. The chopsticks. It's very good. The beef gives it a nice flavor. Now I'm going to try and eat with these. I may end up just going back to the fork because I'm not used to chopsticks. Um, <laughs> because I don't use them in my everyday cooking. But today I'm going to try at least a little bit. Possibly just with the beef <laughs> because it's in a solid piece. And then I'll use my fork to taste the noodles. Oops, that just fell. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Okay. Time to switch to a fork. <laughs> so you can taste these noodles with y'all here. The noodles look really silky and good. Oh, delicious noodles. Really, really good. Taste a bit more of the broth. Nice. Very flavorful. This is a really good supper. Obviously, you can omit the meat if you don't eat meat. Or you could use chicken, ground chicken, or ground turkey, but you guys know me. I was friends with the turkey, so I will never eat turkey. <laughs> Maybe if I could become friends with a cow or a chicken, I won't be able to eat that either. So, uh, The turkey was uh, an interesting story. I made good friends, very good friends, with a male turkey in Mississauga. You guys know I've talked about this before uh, during COVID time. Back in May of 2020, I met that turkey in Mississauga. And he was just so stunning. And he actually lived there. He must have come from the ravine close by on uh, Matheson or Eglinton area. Kind of out there near the Skymark um, Mississauga Business District area close to the airport. Well, not close to it, but fairly close. And he was an amazing bird. I haven't seen him for two years, but uh, I knew him for a full year from 2020 until April of 2021. So that was nice. Okay. Just rambling on here. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Mm. The broth is just incredible. This is like one of the best, literally. With that little taste of extra hint of salt and the beef inside. It's a really good one, guys. The flavor is nice. So there you have it, guys. We have the faux bow rice noodles with artificial beef flavor and this is the mama <laughs> so sweet uh mama brand okay uh, i believe i got these at no frills <clears throat> pardon me these are about a dollar something very good highly recommend i would give a 10 out of 10 on this one excellent excellent flavor so thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate it and until next time see you later